Hi dear students, we are trying to discuss about the gate uh, previous year questions which are very tough in the exam point of view and the students will feel tough the type of questions I have taken to explain you some series of questions in gate electrical branch. If you see this uh, question, this question is a very special question came for electrical students and EC students also. The only thing is this capacitor they kept for electrical students in the bottom in the next year maybe one or two years uh, gap they kept this capacitor in the top so why this question will be difficult for the student level why he is facing trouble let us understand in this question you can see there is RC component there is RC component knowledge you must have that means RNC concept he has to understand and there is an op amp with a positive feedback so there must be a knowledge of positive feedback op amp analysis the last one it, Zeno diode, he has to have some analysis about that. So, three modules we have to understand at a time. Let's see the question first. It's a gate electrical 2007, two marks question it is. The switch as in the circuit of figure is initially closed, he said. The switch is initially closed. That is coming parallel to the capacitor, first he has switched off. It is opened at time t equal to zero, is telling. Okay. You may neglect the Zener diode forward voltage drops. Everybody knows that Zener diode will have two on conditions. In forward bias also it has on and reverse bias also it is having on condition. He said that whenever the diode is in forward bias, Zener diode, you can make it as a short circuit. No need of taking cut in voltage. That is the meaning. What is the behavior of the V out for T greater than zero is asking. So when T greater than zero, at that time what is the behavior? He has given four options in this question. It makes a transition from minus 5 to 5 at t equal to 12.98 microsecond. That is the first option. So that means he is telling that initially it will start from plus 5 to minus 5 it is moving or minus 5 to plus 5 we have to find out. It makes a transition from minus 5 to 5 at t equal to 2.57 microseconds. So one time he has given 12.98 that another time he has given 2.57 microseconds. And other two options are given as a plus 5 to minus 5. So if you know the transition plus 5 to minus 5, that is not enough to solve this question. We must know at what time the transition is taking place. We, know, we must know all these points. By observation, how to tell the transition is from plus 2, 5 to minus 5 or minus 5 to plus 5. That we will understand. This question I have taken in the next slide. You can see how I started the analysis for this. So at t equal to 0 minus or t equal to 0 plus, instantly what happens? At t equal to 0 minus, if you see, the switch is closed, he said. When the switch is closed, automatically you can say, the voltage across this point at the inverting side of the op amp will take it as Vy for analysis sake. And at plus side, we'll take it as Vx. Two points I have taken. And op amp output is here which I am taking it as V0 dash and across the Z0 diode, we will take it as V0. Be careful here, there are two V0s. Op amp output is different, okay. At the final stage across 10K to 100K resistor, the output is different. So because in between, they kept a resistor called R value. So we have to compare these two points. So finally, the output uh, depends not on the op amp output, it depends on the Z0 diode output, okay. Zener diode breakdown voltage he has given is plus 5 and minus 5. We have plus 5 and minus 5 as the output. By observation, we can tell as the capacitor is short here, this minus 10 will come here. Vy became minus 10. That is the first observation a student can do it. Vy is equal to minus 10. But if you want to compare this positive feedback, will work like a comparator. We know that. If you want to compare that, we need Vx value. Then uh, how to get that Vx is the first point a student should learn. Okay, that is the main confusion for the student. If Vy is minus 10, then I'm assuming that V0 dash, how much the voltage? Across this, he has given plus 10 volts, op amp battery levels, minus 10. One thing we know that any positive feedback op amp can give the output as plus saturation or minus saturation. No other answer will come for the positive feedback. So the output, the output can be plus 10 or minus 10. This is the chance we have. That is the estimation I have done. Plus 10 or minus 10. 
But if you come to the output of Zener diode, this can become plus 5 or minus 5. So the chance across the Zener diode will be plus 5 or minus 5. Based on this V0, we can find out the Vx value. We may get two answers here, Vx values. One Vx will be, by applying voltage division rule, plus 5 into 100k by 110k, one answer. This will become plus 50 by 11, one answer is coming. So if I take plus 5 volt sample, you are getting 50 by 11. And if I take uh, minus 5, minus 5 into 100k by voltage division rule, I am applying 110k. So it is coming minus 50 by 11. If you see these two samples, Vx values 50 by 11, minus 50 by 11, these two values are greater than minus 10 in the class. So we can expect uh, Vy is always coming less than for any sample of plus 5 or minus 5. With this we can say that your Vd, your Vd, which is nothing but Vx minus Vy is coming greater than 0. So this value is greater than Vy we are expecting. So as v y, Vx is greater than Vy, Vd will become positive such that the output V0 dash, the output V0 dash will become plus 10 volts. So like this we can estimate the answer. Okay. Output will become plus, out, V0 dash will become, op amp output will become plus 10 volts. With this we can say your V0, that is the Zener diode output will become plus 5 volts. So finally, your Vx value will be, your Vx value will be 50 by 11 you can take. So this is the way how I track the values. Okay. So this is called initial way of observing how the output will come for the out op amp. So this type of analysis one time if you understand the Vx became here 50 by 11 which is a reference for Vy. But Vy can change by when the switch is open in the next stage you are telling switch is open at t greater than 0. At that time the capacitor starts charging. As the capacitor is charging, Vy will change automatically. So we have to estimate how much the capacitor can charge at the final stage. If we can estimate that, we can understand Vy, how much it can charge at the final state. That we will see in the next step. We will go to the next step now. <coughs> Just I have taken your network, RC network. R is given as 1K and the capacitor value is 0 0.01 microfarads. At t equal to infinite, I am estimating how much the value of Vy in the class. So if capacitor voltage, if you say at t equal to infinite, it will work as an open circuit for you. As the capacitor is open circuit, 10 minus 10, it will try to charge around 20 volts. The capacitor can charge up to 20 volts. Therefore, what is Vy at final state? Vy at final state, we can observe the value as Vc plus Vc minus 10 volts. This is the Vc at final state, we can expect 20 volts and minus 10 will be the 20 minus 10. We are expecting the answer to be 10 volts we are getting. So Vy at final state, we are getting it as 10 volts. So now we can estimate that Vy is changing from minus 10 to 10 it is moving because of comparator around 50 by 11, which is Vx value, when you touch that point, the comparator will change the state. Let us have to find out that value, how much time it is taking to change the state position. Let us see in the next step that concept. Now we have to estimate at t equal to t1 what is happening. At t equal to t1, now Vy val Vx value is 50 by 11, we have the reference value. Now Vy is trying to change Vy is trying to change like this. It has to charge capacitor when it is charging from minus 10 to 10, total 20 volts. Vy is changing from minus 10 to 10. The Vy is moving from minus 10 to 10. But when it touches 50 by 11, the comparator value Vd, the comparator value Vd will change the sign. So at this position, when it comes here, the Vy will be greater than your Vx. Whenever Vy comes greater than Vx, your Vd value, your Vd value becomes negative such that your output will change to 
op amp output will change to minus 10 volts and this will change to output as minus 5 volts so this is the way you can see the output of your zener diode output you can see so the state will change from plus 5 to minus 5 at 50 by 11 when you touch that value v by value so now how to find the time period at what time it will change the state is asking now i understood it is changing from plus 5 to minus 5 state change i understood initially you have plus 5 now we are changing to minus 5 but at what time if you ask then we have a capacitor formula v y is equal to v final plus v initial minus v final e power minus t1 by rc we'll apply at, uh, t equal to t1 the time for that transition so vy in this case is 50 by 11 exactly your value of vy is changing 50 by 11 at that time the capacitor value is charging becomes a discharging at that time so 50 by 11 the final state is 10 this is final plus initial value is minus 10 and uh, final value is 10 e power minus t1 by rc so this is the way you can find out the time for this problem the time is coming around 12.98 12 12 microseconds 12.98 microseconds so this is not a very tough question according to the concept if you see first initially who can understand the reference the point who will understand the reference he'll get the concept the only thing is this first step who can do properly they can move on to the problem only thing is short circuit i have done vy we got minus 10 only thing is vx we have to estimate then we don't know the value that's why we approach we are assuming that plus 10 or minus 10 op amp output because it's a positive feedback analysis the answer can be plus or minus zener diode output we know plus 5 or minus 5 according to the two samples have been found with these samples, I am understanding Vy will dominate these two samples or not. They are not dominating the value because this answer is minus 10. They are all greater than minus 10, these values. So I estimated that initially the Vd is coming as positive such that the output became plus 10, V0 dash for the op amp, V0 for the Z0 diode became plus 5. So the state change easily understood at this moment only. It is changing from plus 5 to minus 5. In the next step, we found what is Vy at final state of uh, capacitor value. Capacitor value at final state is 20 volts. We are charging, okay, because the 10 minus 10, the capacitor is open here, 20 volts it will charge. At that time, Vy final state, I understood 10 volts. So the Vy can move from minus 10 to 10. So with that uh, capacitor formula, I solved this question. So at what time means 12.98 uh, microseconds the state will change from plus 5 to minus 5. If you see the option for this question, if you see the options, it makes a transition from minus 5 to plus 5. This is wrong answer. It makes a transition from minus 5 to plus 5. Wrong answer. It makes a transition from plus 5 to minus 5. This is correct. Plus 5 to minus 5 is correct. But the time we are not getting this answer. The time we are getting 12.98 microseconds. So this is one interesting question a student should learn in the subject. Thank you.